Hello and good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, teacher. Good morning. It's good to see everybody. Uh, what is today? What is today? Um, Friday. <laughs> what is today? Speaking activity. Ah, OK, that's what we're going to do. Um, but if someone asks you what is today? How would you respond? What is today? Mm. I don't know. What is today? Any ideas? How would you respond if somebody came up to you? It's very common. They'll say, "What? what is today? How would you respond? The day? It's Friday. It's Friday. And what is today's date? October 23. Anybody else? What is today's date? October 23 of 2020. Okay, anybody else have an opinion? How would you answer, what is today's date? Mm, Friday, October 23 of 2020. Okay, anybody else have a, an idea? Suggestion? Uh, in Spanish, it would be a juego de palabras, but I don't know how to say it. And maybe in English it is. Um, all right. There, there are actually two ways that you could say it, but I'm curious if anyone else has an idea before I suggest a way of saying this. What is today's date? Anybody else? You'll notice that I wrote it in the chat, and there are actually two ways that you can say this. You can say October 23rd, 2020. Actually, there are more than two ways to say it. You could say the 23rd of October, 2020. And uh, 2020 is probably the most common way of saying that. You could say 2020. OK, I think that's slightly less common, but it's acceptable. So actually, what, four, three ways, four ways that you can, three ways that you can say it. October 23rd. So this is the difference between, notice that when you write the date, right? If you're in your writing class or you're ever asked to write the date, notice that we don't write what's called the ordinal number. So this is about the difference between a cardinal number an ordinal number, cardinal number versus ordinal number. So if you remember in your math class, um, ordinal numbers are first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. There's a TH sound at the end of most ordinal numbers, right? So 20 and or in this case, RD third, 23rd of 20, 30, 23rd of 2020. So October 23rd, 2020 is how we would pronounce that, even though we write it without the ordinal number. So we write it as a cardinal number. We say it as an ordinal number. This is for the date, right? So I, this would be October 1st, but we would write it October And notice the comma, right? The comma after the day. OK, so just a little fun fact. If anyone asks you the date, remember that it's an ordinal number when you say it. So we don't want to say October 23. We want to say October 23rd, October 22nd, October 21st, and so on. 
All right, so today we're going to do our speaking activity, and then we'll continue working in our groups. I'll explain a little bit more after we conclude our speaking activity. I want to give you guys a few minutes. If you haven't already, I shared a link to the feedback video from last week. I would suggest everyone watching that video. Uh, we're going to start with the speaking activity in 10 minutes at 815. All right, so I want to give everyone an opportunity to watch the video. This is a video with some suggestions, some group feedback about uh, how to give a, a good response to these questions. And so we're going to take a break here and uh, we'll come back right at 815 and we'll start our speaking activity. But I want to give everyone a chance to take a, a look at the video. The link, if you scroll up in the chat, it's where I start by saying, if you are arriving early to class, I would take a look at the feedback video, All right? So even if you're just now joining uh, the class, go ahead and click on that link and watch the video. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute my mic. We'll come back at 8.15, okay, in about nine minutes. Okay. okay. All right, guys, it's 8.15. Hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at the video. Um, make sure that you're uh, taking notes. I would make sure that I would reflect to see what you've done in the past and think about the best way to take notes, right, to get the, the best response possible. You're going to be given one minute, just as we've done in the past, so try to take up as much of that one minute as possible. And I would ask everyone at this time to please raise your hand in Microsoft Teams, okay? I'll select your name at random based on those who raise your hand, okay? So please raise your hand at this time. And as I choose your name, I will lower your hand. As before, once you've completed the speaking activity for today, uh, you're free to, to leave the class if you want to go right into your groups and continue working as your teammates finish and enter uh, your space. You can continue spending the rest of today working on uh, the speaking activity. I'm sorry, on working on the uh, group activity, the performance well, it's not a performance task. It's basically the travel arrangements, okay? So this week you're working in travel arrangements and we're working together uh, with your teammates to create your sway and um, make sure that when you complete your sway that you practice presenting your sway before you create your final video, okay? Remember that this task is divided into two sections. One is the informal meetings, working together, designing the sway. The second part is presenting the sway, which is going to be a recording of you all sharing your sway and speaking to the family of four uh, to express and explain the proposal along with the prices. Okay. All right, so today we'll have some time to, uh, if you need some uh, assistance, we can talk about it. I'll be going in and out of your groups uh, later, and uh, we'll talk about your your performance. All right, has everyone raised their hands? Please raise your hands. Alexia, Elizabeth, please raise your hand. Estefana, thank you. Maria. The Cielo, please raise your hand. Want to have all hands raised. Maria Jacqueline, please raise your hand. Estefana. Again, I'm going to choose only those who raise your hand. OK, so please raise your hand at this time. At the top, there's a little hand icon for you to raise your hand. All right, so here we go. I'll read the prompt twice and then I'll give you one minute to gather your thoughts and take notes. All right, here we go. If you were going to choose a roommate, which quality is the most important to you? Number one, cleanliness. Number two, friendliness. Or number three, 
quietness. I'll read it a second time. If you were going to choose a roommate, which quality is the most important to you? Number one, cleanliness. Number two, friendliness. Or number three, quietness. I'll give you one minute to prepare your response. Okay. Let's begin. All right, the first person here to provide a response, Alonso. Um, yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, well, I choose a cleanliness person because and everyone doesn't like a uh, disordered person who like with with one well, everyone doesn't like to live with a disordered person and it's very and i think it's very quiet to to live with them and or she or he and Mm. And it's very. Ay, no sé cómo decirlo, como cómodo. <laughs> well, it's very, it's more peaceful to live with. Okay, great. Thank you, Alonso. Next up. Maria de la Cruz. Here. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I I will just a person who is clean, a person who likes to order his things and that the space word it reminds is clean. Not perfectly clean, but, but nice. I like um, things to be ordered. If you miss up something, um, after using is the Mm, lo guardo. It's all. Okay, thank you. Uh, next up, Sigrid. Um, for me, it will be friendliness uh, because it's important that you get along with that person because that person uh, is the one that you will be seeing almost all the time and it will be good to get along uh, so you cannot have problems with that person because for me, it will be not very comfortable to be living with someone who don't be nice, or that if that person is always, I don't know, angry, or he, he or she make me, uh, I don't know, ugly, ugly faces. <clears throat> and, well, yeah, that's, I prefer friendliness. Okay, thank you, Sigrid. Next up, uh, Maria del Cielo. Um, I think I prefer to be friendliness because 
if you don't get along with that person, they would be able to live comfortably. Um, cleanliness is also important, but I think is is better friendliness for both of you. Um, you can live with someone who doesn't like you or who doesn't like you. And I think that is important for a good coexistence in the house. Okay, great. Thank you, Maria del Cielo. Thank you. Um, Estefana, you're up. Estefana, you're up. Okay, we'll go on to the uh, next person, uh, Gabby. You're up. Okay. Um, well, I think a good quality in a roommate for me has to be the friendliness. Because uh, when your roommate is your friend too, you can um, have some agreements with him. I mean, um, if you're uh, annoyed, I think that's the word, for the clean, the clean or the disaster in the house, you can tell him and it's your friend. He, he knows you're annoyed by that. And you, the two of us uh, can discuss and reach an agreement. So I think that's important, the agreements between the roommates and it is better if they are friends. So I think it has to be the friendliness, but that's my opinion. And I don't know. Okay, thank you, Gabby. Uh, next up, Fernando. Okay, so first of all, I consider that cleanliness is a basic quality that every person should have. So if I had a roommate, I would like very much that my roommate to be a super clean person because I consider myself in that way. I like that everything around me is in order and clean and that is done by a person who speaks very well of itself. So if my room is clean, we can establish a healthy friendship. That is something that I pay a lot of attention to in the people around me. And I like the order. I like that people keep their clothes, their room, and most, and most of their things clean and above all not to litter. That, that's, that's very important to me. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Next up, Alexia. Yes. Okay, so for me, the most important quality is friendly because that way I would feel comfortable, confident, and also for me, it's important that that person um, is friendly because in this way, when sharing a room, I would not have bad time and I would not get bored with that person. And also, it would be nice being in his company. Mm, also, if he's friendly, to me means that he would not be rude in the most of the occasions. And also, it's really important to be comfortable with the person mm, that you are going to share the room. 
because for me, if not, probably I would have a bad time with that person. So for me, it's really important the friendly. Okay, thank you, Alexia. You're welcome. Next up, Paulina. Mm. Yes. Um, I'm going to say like um, all the combination I have in my notebook. Um, first, uh, I don't care if the person is like very clean in his stuff, like his room. But if we have like living in in a department, I would like that um that person and me like just clean the common areas like the kitchen, living room, bathroom, and that stuff. Um, friendliness, I would like that to that that that, that person um be friendliness with me because I would like like to have a new friend or like be able to do things together with that person and quietness i just like mm, will say to the person that please don't put so loud the music at 12 p.m and okay if... thank you paulina okay next up uh nelly Um, yeah, uh, I think the most important to me uh, in a roommate is the cleanliness because I, I don't like the disorder. I like to see everything clear uh, and the cleaning makes me happy and if my roommate is not like that, I think we would have a lot of problems. Um, about friendless, I, I don't we really need to be friends. But if it's important, be nice with each other. And yeah, quietness is the less important to me. Actually, I like the noise. Uh, all my life, I have lived with noisy people. So it doesn't important for me. Okay, thank you, Nelly. Next up, Mirna, Jacqueline. Can you, can you, okay, what? <laughs> can yes, you I can hear you. <laughs> okay, well, I think the friendliness is more important, well, to me, because if you had a good friendship with your roommate, you can organize to keep your your house clean and you can clean together and maybe fix some things um, you can have better communication and if and if something bothers you bothers you to say it with confidence and well I think you have better organization in the housework I don't know if I say it like that well and can do many things together and well, I think it's better to see your room made with pleasure than with discomfort. And yeah, this is why the friendly is more important to me because yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mirna. You're welcome. Next up, Andrea. Yes, I'm here. Go ahead. Well, I think I would choose the friendly one. And well, for me, it will be better to have a friendly roommate and someone that I get along with because I will see him or her every day and I'll live with that person for a while. And well, for me, it's better to be... Um, Clear that we get along well and not have so many problems in the future. Um, well, I also think that being friendly, um, that we could 
solve the problems or differences more easily. And um, I also think that if my roommate is friendly, um, the trash uh, will be, um, or we will have more trash in the stuff that we need to talk. Okay, about thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Next up, Leo. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, well, I think the quality that I would like my room to have that is quiet. Because all day I spend studying, doing my homework and working. So I would not like your room to be making a lot of noise in the room. For example, in online classes, it wouldn't let me speak clearly because there will be a lot of noise. And the truth is that I prefer that my partner be silent because almost always I'm the one who cleans and organizes the room as I want. So I could do my work in class more comfortable without fighting with my roommate about turning down the volume of his music or for him to stop screaming. It is a situation that I would not like to happen. If I has a room in, um, therefore I like to focus on my work and teacher homeworks or only stirring and okay. nothing more. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. You're welcome. Next up, Erica. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Yeah, well, for me, the most important thing is cleanliness because I had been in direct places that always caused me to be in a bad mood. So I can concentrate on the things I have to do. And I also couldn't live with a person who is very messy because I always want to order around me. And I think for that reason, I would always have problems with my roommate and that wouldn't, wouldn't be good. But it will also have to be friendly person because I think it's important for a good coexistence and I would like both of us to feel comfortable with our presence. And it will also be cool to be able to do things together, for example. Okay, great. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Next up, Monse. Um, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, I prefer a friendly, a friendliness uh, roommate because uh, I think if you are like, uh, if that person is friendly, I suppose that she or yeah, she is gonna be like always trying to be nice with me. So I think we can get organized uh, about what we want to do together. For example, clean the room or go shopping or whatever or cooking. So I think I would not have any problems like trying to organize with that person about everything that we have to do in the room. Um, because also I think a uh, quietness person is like necessary to have because you can't call me. I can't be living in a place that is dirty. So that's why I would choose both op both options. But this time I would choose friendliness because without if the person is that way, you okay. can like. Okay. Thank you, Monse. Thank you. You're welcome. Next up. Monica. Yes. Okay. Um, I prefer friendly friendliness because I feel that a person who's friendly is who I can talk with him in any moment about the things that I consider are annoying me or at contrary the things that she or he doesn't like about me. Um, we can be polite and decide together what we can do. Um, I think that a friendly and polite person is someone clean and responsible that knows how to 
with other people and it can adapt at any situation. Um, and that includes to be comprehensive about the situation that the other roommate has because there are moments when the other needs silence or something like that. And I think that is good when you have a good communication with a person with your lives because you can uh, help each other and share good okay. moments. Okay, great. Thank you, Monica. You're welcome. Next up, Maria Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Mm, okay, mm, well, mm, in feel or my point of view in this is like a good quality for a roommate is, well, I prefer clean because um, consider I am a um, clean person, so I don't want to live with a dirty person, <laughs> well, in this way. And if, if this person is clean, I think we could be friends with each other. But um, I, I really, really prefer the clean because I don't want Mm, I don't want mm, like clean the the another person like for example. Mm, okay, mm, thank you, uh, Jose. Okay. Next up, Carlos. Okay, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can. So I, I'm not completely sure, but I chose cleanliness and friendliness, but I um, more related with cleanliness because it's one of the most quality, uh, one of the most important quality uh, about a person because it shows uh, that person is or it or he could be or she could be responsible, dedicated or comfortable. And I don't like to discriminate. I don't like to discriminate uh, between cleanliness or friendliness. Uh, I think that those qualities are so important in a person. Um, but I think that in cleanliness, uh, if you well, okay, I'm a I'm a person that love uh, put his things on others and homeworks or whatever you want to say in other. I try to do different things and many including All right, thank you, Carlos. Okay. Next up, Daira. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, um, I think that it's more important for me, uh, cleanliness and friendliness. Well, first, Cleanliness, because I think that if my roommate is um, dirty, the situation could be very uncomfortable and I'd be angry all the time with that person. So, I mean, um, I don't like being with someone who is not clean. And I choose friendliness too, because it's good when you have a roommate that is very kind and very nice person. I don't like with, when the person is bitter or when he or she is not a good person. Well, I mean, um, when the person is rude, um, it's better when you enjoy the time with that person and you can have a great time with the okay, person. Okay, great, thank you, Dai. You're welcome. Next up, Refugio. Mm, if I have to, to choose, I think I I say a friendly person. And it is because a friendly person that is going to be with you can be can can support you because of his uh, open mind person 
and can understand you. I think also um, could be that um, give you some advices and in time can trust in you to say uh, in both sides what you think about this person and this person about you and um, you can say what you think um, in a with free freeness I don't know how to say uh, libertad okay thank you Refugio you're welcome next up Vanessa here okay go right ahead well I think that for you to get with your own mail, it could be said in some aspects, but in others, uh, it does. But for example, I think that the other aspects are more important because it is a place where you are comfortable. Then if these aspects are not taken into account, I think that there will not be a good coexistence and there could be many problems. Uh, and I think that at least important because it is a place where you will believing and you don't have to feel uncomfortable and that is why I think that from the beginning you should talk with the person you will believe in and so they agree on everything they can do and uh, what they can do and thus we don't have problems with the person. Okay, thank you uh, Vanessa. Next up, uh, Tanya. Teacher, teacher. Okay, go right ahead. Um, I would like to have a silent cla uh, classmate or, or roomie because um, I'm a person very busy and I think if I have a person same than me, um, I think uh, it would be like a disaster. Because both of me together to be faster. So if I have a silent person, um, we're gonna like to have a balance in our environment in the in the room. Um, I'm a person very sociable, and if I have a person that maybe do not talk too much, uh, I can talk with with this person, and it can like uh, be related to me all the time. Or, or me with, with that person and th and learn things about ourselves. Me, I I, I have I will learn things for him or or she, and I prefer that this class class no, Rumi is a man. And all right, thank you, Tanya. You're welcome. Next up, uh, Susie. Yes, teacher. Um. I prefer a friendliness person because I'm a very happy and sociable person and I would not uh, like to live with a boring or painful person that always have a badly face uh, because he or she doesn't like me. And I think it is important to have a good uh, coexistence because we're going to live together for a long time to get along to avoid problems. And I think um, talking about the other two aspects, if we have a good friendship, uh, we can work together to do the things in a good way and maybe we can uh, reach agreements like, um, well, it is the case of noise as my classmate Paulina said that for example we okay. can great thank you thank you Susie yes teacher you look next up Adan yes can you hear me yes I can well I would rather friendliness because uh, because that's the person that I'm going to that I'm going to see every single day. 
So we need a good atmosphere, a good environment. And also I don't want someone uh, someone to be disrespectful or rude. You know, I, I want someone uh, friendly in my life um, if I'm living with that person. And um, also we can do things together uh, inside and uh, and also we can uh, go out to different places. So th that's gonna be not good, not only for me, but also for for both for both of us. Um, also, um, uh, anyone, uh, I don't want any problems with that person. And for me. Uh, oh, right, thank you, Adan. Thank you. Next up, Nancy. Um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, well, I think that I will choose a person who is clean uh, because I don't like the disorder and I like someone who is clean and uh, I think it's better for me and uh, so I do not like um, to live with someone who fears their living space dirty and maybe smell ground so I go live with someone who is clean for me is better and okay thank you nancy next up yaisha uh, i'm here so i think it's better to have someone who is clean because your house, well, your the house or the apartment will be in order in both likings. And I think it'll look more comfortable to live in the house or the apartment. Um, for example, if you live with someone who is friendly, but they're a little bit messy with their stuff, you can always tell them or teach them how to clean. So I think um being friendly and being clean go together and about being quiet i think that's not possible because um you're going to live with someone you get along with and of course there will be times where the house will be quiet okay thank you Jaisha. Next up, Fatima. I'm um, here. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Well, I would choose that I that the person that would be friendly because I will not like that the roommate that I have to be with being rude or we don't get along it would be uncomfortable. That's why I will like, and it would be great that as he is friendly, we will, it would be good living with someone with trust, and we will get along, and it would be comfortable. And also that leads if it's not clean, or if some, something bothers me, I will tell that person with no problem that there will be there will be like trust and communication. And there will I think it's all. Okay. All right, thank you, Fatima. Next up Nidaline. Okay. Um for me, being friendly because it is uh, difficult to live with a person who does not 
life together or something like that. It's uh, important to get along with that person because he is a person you are going to lead with and it will be something heavy to be with a person who does not have it kidneys, very toxic relations, relationship uh, between the two and you could not have a coexistence as good. So in my opinion, I prefer definitely to be able to have a good relationship between but uh, not have problems in terms of the house and to be able to invite more people and have a good time with friends or family. Having good communication uh, able all since you are going all to. All right. Thank you, Nydeline. Okay. Next up, Jesus. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay. So quietness is a more important quality because when you are in the place that you live, you want to stay relaxed because you come from a tough day from school or from your work. And you want to do what you want to do in peace. And for example, if he's not quiet and I want to study for an important test, I won't study if he's really noisy. So it's important to respect your roommate and to reach an agreement where nobody is going to annoy the other person. And for example, there are a lot of people that like to, you know, increase the volume of his music a lot. And those, those kind of people don't care for the other person or what they feel. So, yeah. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Next up, Diana. Um, I think that a quality that I, that I will search in a roommate will be the friendliness. Because if we are friends, we will get along. And I think it's important to get along with a person that you are going to see almost every day. And that you're going to spend so much time with them. And if you get along with that person, you can tell that person the things that you don't like about that person. And, and in, the same, in the same way, that person to you. And the two of you can keep the apartment clean and not making a lot of mess. And in that way, you win a new friend and and it's your roommate. And you have a, a you live in peace with that person. All right, thank you, Diana. Next up, Maria Fernanda. Uh, well, okay, for me, uh, the most important thing is <clears throat> to be uh, friendly, friendliness, because, well, from the person that I am, I'm a person who likes to be friends of everyone. So I think that if I'm uh, in a house with someone, I like to be, uh, when, to have fun with that person. Uh, the fact that to be clean, I think that we can talk about that and be clean. But well, the most important thing for me is to be friendliness because I want to have a good relationship with that person and uh, yeah, had a good time and spend the time with, with that person. And yeah, and not to be mad all the time or, or feel that the house is alone or it's just me. It, it, I like to hear noise in my house. All right. Thank you, Maria Fernanda. Thank you. Next up, uh, Luis Enrique. I will choose a person friendly because 
because I prefer na na make nothing about noise or mis mistakes and having the sometimes clean of everything that is around me and, and sometimes I prefer a person who clean because I do not like the disorder about the house or everywhere. Okay, thank you, Luis Enrique. Next up, Dana. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, yes, I can. Okay. Um, it's more important for me to be a clean person because that means that um, he respects each other space. And I think that if he knows how to respect my space, we are not going to have problems. Um, even if we don't be friends, we can only be friendly with each other. I think if, if I like with a person who isn't clean, I wouldn't I will not matter if I was my friend. Maybe I will be bothered by having that bad habit. And I think if I am with a silent person. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, you're welcome. Next up, uh, Lisette. Uh, Lisette, you're up next. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. OK. Uh, I'm sure that I will choose that it has the explaining qualities. The truth is that to me, looking like an elderly person is better to have as a roommate. Because you will not fight and in terms of cleaning and keeping the place where they are tidy. And maybe a friendly roommate would also be a good decision, but for me, it, it is better to have a clean space. Sign from having a clean space, you can have a good cooksis. And yeah, for me, it's the most important quality is cleaning. That's it, teacher. Okay, thank you, Lisette. Next up, Elizabeth. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, well, I would be choosing a roommate to be clean or friendly because I think that it's better to get involved and live with someone who actually, well, is clean. And because I would not be, um, I would not like to be living with someone that is a mess. And well, I to have my my space clean and and well, I think that it's like gonna be easier to me to be like friends with that roommate if we actually are in, in an environment or a space where actually it's relaxing to to be and uh, not being mad because everything is you know, messed up or something like that. So I think that yeah, I think that I will be choosing someone that it's that it's clean. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. 
Next up, Maria Jacqueline. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, I would like it to be friendly because that way you have fun in, in all aspects with the person. For example, doing house activities, such as food, decorating the room. I don't know among others, but I also think it is very important that it is clean because that is how you feel more comfortable in the place and you can enjoy the place more with your friends or the people you met there. And for this reason, I think that they are both very important because if if it is not friendly, it will be boring. And if and I if it was not clean, the place. All right. Not, Thank you. Thank it, you, Jackie. Yes, you're welcome. And last but not least, Jess, you're up. Uh, yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I will choose a clean person always because I can't when people do gross things because it's not difficult uh, to be a clean person, actually. Uh, it's not difficult to put the things in their places or put the dirty clothes in the basket or wash your dishes after you use them. So, because friendship can come along with the clean stuff. So it's more important to have peace and next to peace can come the friendship. Uh, but yeah, it, it always uh, will be more important being clean and more in times of pandemic like right now. Because can you imagine a clean person living with a dirty person? <laughs> the clean person will become crazy. Um, so yeah. I will always pick a clean roommate, always, always. Okay, thank you, Jess. All right, I think that's everyone. Uh, let's go ahead, guys, and continue sí, working. Falté yo. I'm sorry? Uh, falté yo, Alondra. Ah, Alondra. Did you raise okay. your hand, Alondra? Yes, uh, la tengo levantada. I don't see it. I don't even see, I'm looking for your, I'm just curious because I didn't see, I'm looking at my list and I don't know why I missed you. Uh, is anybody else missing? That's weird. I don't see you in the list. Can you raise your lower and raise your hand again? I'm just curious to see if it, why see? it doesn't appear. Listo. <clears throat> I don't see you in the list. Why don't I see you in the list? <clears throat> okay, that's weird. Let me refresh. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's weird. I missed you because you don't appear in the list and my in the participants list. But all right. Uh, go ahead. For me, the most important thing in a roommate are the three as aspects but the one that matters most to me is friendship because we when you need help you have someone to tell you problems and you will be comfortable with your company because having a good friend is like having a family member with you Okay, thank you, uh, Londra. You're welcome. All right, uh, anybody else? Did I miss anybody else? You know, it's really weird, um, Alondra, that did you, I'm assuming you signed in with your university account, right? 
Alondra? Yes. yes. Are you on a phone or a computer? A uh, computer. Because I, I'm checking the attendance list and you don't even appear on the attendance list. Mm. Why is that? That's really strange. I've never uh, seen that before. Okay, that's a little bit strange. Okay, all right, guys. Well, we'll um, let's go ahead and work in our teams. We'll come back. We will reconvene at 940 to close the class, and I'll try to get into some of your teams. If you guys have questions, send me a message, or, of course, jump into this room and uh, let me know. Uh, Stefana, if you're still here, if you want to participate, go right ahead. Yes. Let's go right ahead. I prefer the friendliness of people because they really show what they are, I think, is the most important. Why that is the most important quality of a person? Um, I feel that it is the key to all. Mm, yeah. Okay, thank you, Stefana. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, it's 940. I think we'll go ahead and close for today. I uh, just want to remind everyone, if you have not done so already, please send me the link to your Sway. So, so far, I unless I missed it, I don't have links to the Sways for Team 4, Team 9, Team 12, and Team 13. All right, so... Please share with me right now uh, the link to your sway, and I would I would share it as viewable only, right? So that others cannot edit uh, the the sway. Only the team members should be able to edit this way, so that uh, so changes aren't accidentally made. Okay, so uh, share with me, please, your link to your sway. Again, teams four. Team 9, Team 12, and Team 13. I think I have the rest of the uh, the links. And we're going to have until Monday to complete this task. But uh, remember that all of your meetings should be recorded. Okay, so if you're meeting outside of class, make sure those are recorded. Of course, when you're in class, make sure those are recorded as well. But all meetings should be be recorded. Okay, this is part of the assignment. It's part of the task is to show ev evidence of you working together, speaking in English, and preparing the sway. So make sure that you have a, a folder called week nine and that all of those meetings are in the folder. Of course, your final presentation should be a separate file, a separate video file of your presentation. So this is going to be where one of you can share your screen so that you're showing the the sway and you're presenting and discussing the proposal, the travel uh, proposal. All right, your travel proposal should be between 10 to 15 minutes long and everyone should speak equally. All right, any questions about the performance test? So we have to do a, a, a video about uh, uh, about what? <laughs> um, okay, 
Yeah. So, so you're, you work at a travel agency, your team, right? So this family of four wants to know what you're proposing. So your um, job, your job is to explain your proposal, explain the prices, explain the destination, your, everything that's in your sway, right? That's what you can use to present to the family of four, your proposal. So uh, what okay. I would do, and I I would uh, I would record your meeting. I would do exactly. I would basically create the video the same way that you created the videos for all of your informal meetings. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's easier that way. You can just download and upload, right? And if you have to edit, you know, hopefully you can just present it. You don't have to edit the video. Just just uh, practice, right? Know what everyone's going to say, and then just hit record and create the video for your presentation, for your explanation of your proposal. I think it's okay. uh, easier to do it that way. Okay. Yes, teacher. Any other questions, guys, about the. Um, and uh, we are going to upload the video. I'm sorry, we, did you ask where to upload the video? When? When? Uh, you're going to have until Monday. Okay, if you do it before, if you can complete it before Monday, great. But uh, the due date will be Monday. Okay, did you? Thank right. you. You're welcome. Any other questions? I have a question, but it's not uh, of these uh, tasks. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the podcast that we have to do is with our uh, uh, classmate, and it has to be like an interview, but it's like uh, in my podcast, I'm going to do to her an interview about her topic of her podcast, and she has to do the same. That's, uh, how cor many, That's correct. How many long has to be the, the podcast this time? About the same, right? So anywhere from four to five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what else? No, I think that's all. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I think it's be. easier to separate it into separate, you know, videos. Like you'll do your video with your questions and then your partner will do, you know, will do a separate video asking you questions for his or her uh, podcast. It's it's an it's a video or it's just like the sound. The uh, it's up to you. I mean, if you want to do it in audio only, that's fine. If you want to do it with the video and your partner is okay with that, that's okay. It's up to you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yes. Any other questions, my friends? <laughs> no, teacher. All right, one one final comment. No, I just I just want to make a very quick comment about the speaking prompt. All right, so the prompt was: if you were going to choose a roommate, which quality is the most important to you? And I and I give you three options: cleanliness, friendliness, or quietness. So. Which do you think would be a better response? Talking about one, two or three of those options or only choosing one of those options? What do you think would be the best response? Friendliness. One. Friendliness. Well, choosing only one option. So you, we've, we've seen now several examples where you're asked, Right. What do you think about this or this A or B? Right. Or this, this and this like you're given choices. So notice that. Each one of these, it's best to choose one and then speak more specifically about the one thing. So in this example, if you're if you chose friendliness, all right, in your notes, you should have reasons why. You chose friendliness and you write down, I don't know, two, three, maybe four reasons in your notes. 
And even within those two to three to four reasons, you might write off a couple of examples, right? Or maybe some uh, past experiences that you can relate, right? You can be thinking of your, your past experiences or your opinions about those two to three to four reasons. And you're writing all those down. It's just notes. It's not even long sentences. It's just key words or key phrases, but it's all, all about friendliness. You're not going to mention anything about the others, the other options. You're not going to say anything about cleanliness or quietness. You're not going to mention those. So don't feel like in these questions that you have to give an opinion about all of them because that's not the question. The questions are almost always, what do you think about this or this? Or this, this, and this, right? You choose one, stick to the one thing, and that will help you think more specifically about that one thing. Think about reasons, right? Think about how something happens. Think of the question words to help think about, well, what can I say about friendliness, right? What can I say? Well, I can say why I think this. I can even say how. How can you be friendly? Right? How would you be friendly to the purse to the roommate? How would the roommate be friendly to you? Well, here's one way, here's another way, and here's another way. And I'm writing all these down in my notes. Okay, so keep that in mind. You're probably going to see more examples like this where you're given options. This or this. Don't feel like you have to talk about everything because first of all, it's actually harder. It's harder. And then it sounds like, well, you're trying to say too much and, and you can't focus on one thing because you're kind of back and forth. And and even if in your mind you're thinking, well, they're almost the same. Like, I can't really decide. Just decide. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know, we don't know. You don't have to prove yourself. We're never going to know if you're lying or not. It doesn't matter. Just choose one thing. Choose one option and stick to that one thing and speak more specifically about that one thing. Okay, so just a quick tip. Right. When you're thinking about for for the next speaking activity or if you are faced with these options, OK, the, the questions are almost always, what do you think about this? And most of the time it's in the first person. All right. So they're going to be saying, well, what do you think about this? What would you prefer about a roommate? Well, I think so. It's all about you. It's the first person. Right. So think just keep that in mind whenever you're preparing for these questions and you're thinking about what to write, try not to say too much. Try not to, don't feel like you have to comment on every option that you're given because that's usually not what they're asking. They want you to choose one thing. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. I hope you guys have a good weekend. We just concluded week nine. We'll start up with week 10 uh, next Monday and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, take care, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Have a nice day. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.